Howdy partners, welcome to another CMB Minecraft tutorial. Uh, today I'm going to kind of finish up this little series where I've been using the RS Norlatch array um, and I'm going to show you how to connect it finally uh, to a seven segment display so you can count up and down. A uh, bit like that. Um, so I'm going to show you how to connect it up specifically. Obviously I've already done tutorials on how to build the seven segment and decoder and the array so all I'm going to be showing you is just this these pink lines here and then this pre decoder uh, so it should be short and sweet hopefully so um, yeah Hawkeye um, so you're gonna to have to have done a few things first uh, which is build your seven segment display with the decoder here um, like I showed in my previous tutorials I'm only doing zero to four uh, here, so five lines for the decoder. Most people are going to want to do zero to nine, so ten lines. Um, but this is obviously just you just keep extending out uh, depending on what you're doing. Um, and then you're going to have to have the old RS Norlatch array set up with the uh, subtract line, the green subtract line here. Um, and once you've got that, you just need to know how to connect it up basically. So, specifically, what you've got to do is have a pre decoder in here. Uh, so spacing between the decoder and the array is really important uh, and it's four blocks like that um, and each line of the decoder has to line up with one of the RS NOR latches here um, so to do the pre-decoder you're going to want to dig down one like trench like this too long like that in front of each line uh, like so and then you whack in your repeaters, redstone behind those repeaters, and then you can just connect it directly into the decoder. Um, block above that redstone, and a torch on each one of the blocks. Uh, redstone on top of these blocks as well, and then importantly, repeater going into each block like that. Um, and that's it, that's the pre-decoder pretty much done. And what this stops is when you go down the latches here, like that, as you can see there are two latches on. So if these were just to go straight in to the decoder now, they'd turn both these lines off and they display zero and one at the same time, which is obviously not what we want. So we have to have this pre-decoder in here uh, to isolate the torches and I'll show you how that happens in a second. So now to connect the pre-decoder up, to uh, these latches we take the signal from the top of uh, these torch each torch and we just run it out like that and come down one here when you get to the redstone dust and you do that for every line like that Uh, and then you whack torches on the front of those lines and then just redstone all the way back here to these torches. Cool. Um, and then one final thing, you've just got to make sure that this block is always getting power. Um, like that. And you're pretty much done. So if you were to have this as a, a 0 to 9, you would have all the same like this. And then when you got to your 9 digit, you would have this little setup here at the end. Um, and that's the only difference, really. So now what this does, instead of, if we would have three torches showing, instead of it just going directly into the decoder and lighting up everything um, and displaying three numbers at once, we've actually isolated uh, this line here. And as you can see, this is the... 0, 1 to the third line. Um, so on the third torch we're displaying a 3 as you can see there. Um, and then if we knock it up another one like that we've got ourselves 4 and then obviously you can bring it back down. So this is great for um, any kind of manual counter you want or something like a minecart counter or whatever. Um, you can attach up these red switches here to anything, obviously like a pressure plate or a detector rail, uh, depending on what you're going to use it for. So um, 
that's how to connect them up and that's pretty much it for this little series now um if you've got any questions obviously just leave them in the comments below um yeah one final thing if you were going to if you're thinking about making a clock or trying to put a clock circuit into the input i would not recommend this circuit this array specifically uh, it's a bit messy i've got a much better way of doing that and i'm going to run some tutorials on that uh very very soon so um yeah just stay tuned for that one and uh cheers for watching